member of the House Budget Committee in the House Freedom Caucus, Virginia Congressman Ben Klein, joins me. Good evening, sir. Good evening, Greta. Great to be with you. Nice to have you. Okay, so tell me what happens. The negotiations are on pause. There's a limited amount of time before we can't find a nickel or dime to pay another, uh, another bill. So tell me what you expect is going to happen in the next two weeks. Well, we expect Joe Biden to actually engage in these negotiations uh, for real. He's off in Japan right now. He's not even at the table. Um, Kevin McCarthy has been waiting and trying to get the administration and the Senate to negotiate since January. And, and they have only said it's our way or the highway, clean debt ceiling or nothing. But the House has passed a bill. The Senate has not. This is, uh, you know, the, the basics of lawmaking. Each side passes a bill and then you compromise in the middle. But when you don't pass a bill, um, you, my parents well, always said, don't the, compromise, uh, don't negotiate against yourself. All right. Um, the president is in Japan. I mean, he, he's not on vacation. He's at the G7. He, he, when, you, when the president travels, he brings his White House with him. He you know, might as well be there. He's got negotiators here. So, And it is true that the House passed a bill on April 26th. It has not gone to the Senate. Should, your, should you point your finger at Majority Leader Chuck Schumer in the Senate for not taking it up? Um, even if he did take it up, it's unlikely that it would be passed, which is a problem. So um, we really are at, you know, we, the really horns are locked at this point and we're running out of money. So neither side has blinked. So tell me, you know, what's going to happen? Are we going to are we going to default on our bills? You know, they're banking on Republicans caving and taking something less than what the House passed. But I don't know what less than uh, the House bill is able to pass in the House. But we know that the House bill can pass and the reforms that are attached are supported by 80 percent of Americans. Work requirements for welfare, clawing back COVID money, uh, repealing the 87,000 IRS agents. These are things that a majority of Americans support. That's why the bill passed with a majority. But we expect the Senate, once we come up on zero hour and we're getting pretty close, the Senate, cooler minds have to prevail and the Senate needs to pass the only bill on the table at this point. And if the Senate doesn't? Well, then uh, they will be responsible for what happens at that point. But we hope that and then, they will then, be responsible. Then the government shuts down? The, we don't no, hear the government, bills the government shut down, shuts down. We, are we going to default? No, uh, the, the Secretary of the Treasury has the authority to pay our debts, uh, and we will be able to pay our debts. Uh, so there will not be a default. We are all committed to ensuring that there is no default. Uh, but that will require the Senate to take up our bill. Well, you know, I guess good luck with that because we passed the debt limit in January. I'm going to take the last word on it. The Secretary of Treasury has been, as I say, running around the living room, lifting every cushion, looking for every spare dime that may have fallen in. So I don't know. Um, anyway, so I'm hopeful that something can be accomplished. But Virginia Congressman Ben Klein, thank you, sir. Thank you.